Honorable Finance Minister, uh, AMA Muhit, Sir Fazli Hassan Abid, uh, Chairperson and Founder of BRAC, and also uh, Chairperson of the Advisory Committee of Bengal Institute, um, Mr. Abul Khair, Chairperson of Bengal Foundation, and also the Chairperson of Executive Board of Bengal Institute, uh, Kazi Khalid Ashraf, Director General. Um, uh, all my wonderful friends and colleagues who has traveled all the way from uh, different parts of the world to be here to make this whole event successful. Um, distinguished guests, architects, students, uh, welcome all to Bengal Institute's first um, symposium that we are organizing. Hopefully it should be a, uh, the way we are thinking, it will be a biannual event. Um, and we would like to gather uh, wonderful colleagues from all over the world uh, and from our country uh, to come and congregate uh, to discuss and dis uh, on the discourse of architecture. As you can see that this year's theme we have selected as um, architecture, now next. And to start with, we live in a culture entirely hypnotized by the illusion of time in which the so-called present moment is felt as nothing but an infinitesimal hairline between an all-powerfully causative past and an absorbingly important future. We have no present. And basically, uh, at this point in time, with this symposium, what we'd like to do is take a moment and acknowledge that the notion of now is to navigate our way to the future. And in a way, now is kind of interesting because when architects, as, as we design, we are visionaries, as we are called, and we design something which gets built maybe after three, four years. So we are designing for the future. But when the building is done, uh, that, that future is again becomes a now. So then you're moving into another dimension. So this whole time scenario is quite, quite an interesting and a precarious thing in architecture. What we would like to do in these three days is that we would like to uh, question these things. And architecture now next will critically question on the political, cultural, and economic landscape of our time within which architecture operates. We will ask how will architecture be practiced, produced, and deliberated in a world of fluctuation and alterations? How within, this, within such a context, issues of place, geography, site, power of local wisdom, and ethics of well-being will be conducted. What kind of work to look up to as exemplary for this generation and the next to come? So I would like to now um, ask uh, Director General of Bengal Institute to come and talk about a bit. Thank you.